some tests done in accordance with uh, ISEN 12350 2. Uh, now, what you've got to sample, uh, it's very important that you take the wheel with the and remix it thoroughly. Because it may have segregated in transit. So mix it up. Scoop like this is fine. We have a shovel and a bigger tray. That's quite useful as well. So just make sure the staff is thoroughly remixed before you start your slump. So the slump cone, so both feet on the base plates. You fill your cone in three equal layers, giving each layer 25 at Evenly spread around the surface. useful as well because they help to minimize the waste and the mess at the end of the test. So you move your cone and just top off the cone with a sawing action of the sub bar. Clean around here if necessary, but with the funnel it's usually not. And within 5 to 10 seconds, remove the cone. Invert your slump cone, and with your slump bar, measure from the bottom of the bar to the top of the concrete. Email, and you record slump to nearest 10 millimeters. Uh, record type slump as well as you can see. This is perfectly normal slump, no shearing or collapsing. 